plate that I just found with the governor out of the air, or at least we're gonna try. We of course got six, uh, four or 10 shot shells in there, just standard target or bird load. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to do it again. No, 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 no. It's Welcome back to another episode of Six Shooter TV. Today we are going to be shooting the Smith & Wesson Governor. And uh, I'm recording this now in the studio because unfortunately when we were out at the range it was way too windy and basically all the audio just got messed up. So uh, I do apologize for that. The next few clips that you're about to watch, the next few minutes of video, is going to be just me basically shooting. It kind of jumps around. There's not a whole lot of talking while I'm actually out in the range. And again, that's just because of the, the wind noise. So I was trying to kind of like record quickly and like try to avoid the wind. And uh, unfortunately the video just didn't turn out as good as I'd like it to. But um, again, that's why I'm here recording this now. So uh, to give you a little bit more information though, we were shooting uh, 45 ACP, 45 Colt, and then also 410 shotgun. The 410 was like a bird shot and it was not, it was just like target load it was nothing too crazy just like really cheap two and a half inch shells that's what fits in the cylinders now the 45 colt i didn't realize that there was uh different variations of ammo in this um i feel like a, a noob when i say this here but basically um the it was a cowboy load which a cowboy load comes with uh less powder and i know there's a specific reason for it and i, I can't remember why off the top of my head maybe put it in the comment section down below so there's gonna be a lot less recoil on the cowboy load, uh, 45 Colt, than you normally see. So that's why I'm shooting the variation of ammo, is to see that, but unfortunately, obviously, that not, it's not gonna work out too well. So, um, and then the 410, or I'm sorry, 45 ACP was just a standard target load, uh, nothing too crazy. So other than that, uh, let's get into it. We're at eight and 10 yards, and we're shooting 45 ACP. Alright, we're just going to shoot the block with 410. A lot of impact on that. That's again just 410 shot, shot show. I'm over it. F it. I can't wait to see the video of the pooch. What? What'd you say? I said I can't wait to see where it goes. Pooch. Did I shake my head? Yeah. Oh sh.
Okay, so uh, on this one, we're gonna be using the Smith & Wesson Governor. We got uh, six rounds of 410 shot in there. It's just target load. And we're gonna be trying to do uh, some shotgun shooting. So this plate that I just found uh, out here in the woods, we're gonna see if we can bust it up out of the air. So. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Woohoo! Fucking hammer that. Dude. My fucking hand hurts. All right, we're gonna try that again just to make sure it wasn't luck. Probably was. <laughs> putting that part in. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna be shooting uh, 45 Colt, same eight and 10 yards. And on this one, uh, I'm gonna pull the hammer back for three of them. And then the other three, I'm going to uh, just use the trigger. All right, now just, uh, just trigger. Two out of three, you can see that definitely makes a difference. All right, so on this one, we're gonna shoot uh, eight and 10 yards again. I got three uh, 45 Colt and three 410 shot, and I'm just gonna spin it and shoot, so I don't really know what I'm shooting, but uh, just hitting the targets. All right, here we go. Wait, I gotta redo that. I gotta do it the cool way. All right, guys, that sums up the shooting of the Smith & Wesson Governor. I hope you guys really liked everything. Kind of a fun video. I left a lot of uh, raw clips in there just because I thought they were really funny, me and Garrett kind of going back and forth while shooting this and uh, a couple times where I was just missing. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave it in the comment section down below. And then last but not least, subscribe. It would help me greatly, and we'll uh, keep on trucking. So other than that, thanks for watching.